Our investigations tell us that she was a former student uh, at the school. I don't know what grade she's attended or grades, but we do uh, firmly believe she was a student there. Did she identify as transgender? She does uh, ident identify as transgender, yes. Is there any reason to believe the shooter first went to the church before going to the school? Uh, I can't give you that information, Alan. Should we know that the minute the calls came in, we responded uh, to the church, so to the school. To the school. Yeah. yeah. Did you have like, was there like two officers that went in when they first got there? Or how many did you run when they first interfered? So it was five officers that immediately went in uh, and addressed. Uh, we have video that we're going to release, but you can see in the video, you can hear gunfire going on as they're uh, in the school. Uh, they address the threat and, uh, and take that threat down. And Chief, what do we know about her weapons? So we know there were two AR-style weapons, one a rifle, another was an AR-style pistol, and the other was a, a handgun. Uh, we believe two of those may have been obtained legally, locally here. Can you confirm that one of the adult victims, uh, Catherine Coons, was head of the school? Was what? Was head of the school? There was some, I don't know her exact capacity within the school, but it was higher up in the echelon. And were any of the children victims related to any of the school staff? Uh, unsure. I believe one may have been, but I can't confirm that. Did the shooter have any criminal, criminal history? Criminal? No history at all. And no motive at this point? Uh, anything discovered in the apartment or house? No, we have a manifesto. We have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this day, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Uh, there's right now a theory of that's, that we may be able to talk about later, but it's not confirmed. And so we'll, we'll put that out as soon as we can. And Chief, is there any reason to believe that how she identifies I'm sorry, I'm not someone's Michael. I didn't hear you say that again, sir. Is there any reason to believe that how she identifies is has any motive for targeting the school? I, we can give you that at a later time. There is uh, some theory to that. We're investigating all the leads, and once we know exactly, we'll let you know. So was this a targeted attack? It was. Do we know about a history of mental or man or woman? Don't know any history of mental illness uh, at this time, but we are looking at that as the investigation is ongoing. And I'm sorry. She identifies a transgender man or woman? Uh, woman. Was this the only school that was targeted? It was the only school that was targeted. Uh, there was another location that was mentioned, uh, but because of a, a threat assessment by the suspect, uh, too much security, they decided not to. In that area, 